is about your life. Think about this. Hmm? Some of you are where you are today, not because of spiritual problem, but because of your aura. Because of aura. Some of you are sitting at a spot today. Some of you are stagnant today. Some of you are not doing well. Some of you who are old enough to get married, but you're still not married. Some of you are in the wrong marriages, all because of aura. Everything will be spiritual problem. I'm going to make this video very short. But there's, do you know that there's something called aura? Eh? You see that energy you feel about people. When I say energy, you think it's in a strength. You think it's in a power. No. There is this thing that when you meet somebody, eh, the person's aura, that there's something about that person that will act, sometimes push you away or draw you close. So many people notice it. So many people feel it. So many people are very, very fast in detecting negative energy. So many people are very, very fast in connecting to people's aura, both positively and negatively. That thing alone can make you stay in one place. No be spiritual problem. It's not every time everything that you say is village people that is doing you. They are calling you from this one. Now your neighbor tie you. Now this one tie you. If it be just something as little, as simple as aura. Aura, I see aura. Aura is small, but it is big enough eh, to keep you in one place. Hmm? Sometimes study yourself understand your aura very very well so you know the kind of people to associate with there are people that you associate with in your lives eh? they are the reason you're still in one place they are not bad people though, but your aura and their own does not align you might be married to a man eh, that has this kind of aura that is pulling you down you might be married to a woman that her aura is pulling you down you might be best friends to someone that their aura is bringing you bad luck you don't know it might even be your own aura that is causing problem everywhere you get not be everything be spiritual problem study yourself some of you will know that some of you know that you feel this kind of way about someone but because you according to you you love the person you know the energy your energy does not really align something deep down is telling you that this man is not for you this woman is not for you but you will ignore all of them he loves me he has money let's go ahead and, and then when you marry problems go start hmm? Some of you are in the wrong business. Some of you are in business with the wrong people. And things will not be going well. You don't know. You don't pray, Saya. You don't fast. You don't do rituals. You don't do practical prayer. You don't do everything, but nothing is moving. I am not here to teach or to talk long story about or i'm just telling you that see eh, everything may be spiritual problem. There are little, little things you need to know about your life. And things will start going well for you. I ask again, do you know your aura? Do you understand your aura? Aura is that distinctive energy that surrounds every human being. We all have our own aura. Do you know what your aura accepts and what your aura does not accept? Do you know the color of your aura? Do you know these things? Do you? Ponder over it.